Hi, this is Alemi from EAO Botanica. So our subject today is ancestral curses. Some people call them generational curses, but at the end of the day, they're really about something or situations that are ailing a current generation in a family. So let's get into what that really means. Let's define what an ancestral curse is. As I said earlier, it's about a situation or conditions that are affecting a current generation. And so an ancestral curse, if you will, can one, be passed from one generation to the other. That's why it's called ancestral. People oftentimes are not sure when that started, but that is something they can find out. But when did this really start in that lineage, passed down from one family um, member to another or one group of family members to another? The other one is, is it, it can be on both sides or it can be on either side. It's carried on the side of the male or the father. It's carried on the side of the mother or the females. Or it can be carried on both sides. It just happens that they meet in the middle for that generation. Also, it can skip a generation, which a lot of people don't even really realize. And it can also skip people within that generation. Example. Um, maybe there are five siblings in a family and everyone is fine except for two people. Or everyone is fine on this side, but not fine on this side. That's what I mean about can skip uh, different people. So we want to think about these, these vibrations, really. They can manifest themselves spiritually or and or physically. And so I'm going to get into a little bit about how does it manifest um, spiritually or physically so that you can kind of have a fuller idea of what that means. So how do these curses come about? Because I personally don't like the word curse, but I recognize it's a real word. So <laughs> how does it come about? Well, in my experience, it first comes through negative intentions. Almost every single time it comes about through some kind of negative intention or negative conditions. In other words, people who are living in um, really bad conditions that they internalize th the vibrations of those bad conditions and now passes it on to other people. Maybe it's children through childbirth and so on. Um, negative intentions, people cursing someone, um, saying bad things, mind magic, thinking negatively too much about this person or their conditions, evil eye. People say, oh, I don't believe in that. I believe in that. And it does play a role for some people, right? Real curses, where someone curses the person or curses their family. Uh, an example of that could be where it says, a person says, none of your children will prosper. I'll talk a little bit about how that can come to light later on, right? So some people, have, they, they're told, don't curse people because it will happen, right? So this could be an example of how this, this whole thing starts. Someone says something and now it has rippling effects over generations, right? And of course, negative witchcraft. This is one of the big ways, I've told you the top four, of how this can manifest in family lines. How do curses operate or how do they affect people? So curses ha can have an activation point where after people become a certain age, all of a sudden it starts to happen. Uh, that's not all curse, family or ancestral curses, but some of them do operate that way. Uh, example, for people who in terms of uh, one category is childbirth, right? So women, they can continuously abort. They can continuously have stillborns or the children don't make it uh, all the way to term 
uh, children who are disabled, can't get pregnant. All of those fall in the same category, right? Where the line or people are not able to procreate to carry on the line. For men, it can be they're sterile. They are not able to um, have a high sperm count. They're not able to kind of impregnate someone continuously. This also can be due to some family problem, right? Then we can talk a little bit about death how that, that shows up. For so some people, their life dies early, right? They could be having major problems where they just kind of get stuck in their life. It could be that they become incarcerated, right? It could be that there's severe substance abuse. It could be that they have minimal growth. They have a lot of poverty or they're never happy. They cannot seem to prosper. As soon as they start to get on top, things just fall down. They get on top and they fall down again. Severe depression or emotional problems. Oftentimes, some of these things are perpetuated through ancestry. Years ago, I have a client who, when they came to me, they kept talking about there's something wrong in their family. This woman thought that something was going to happen to her son. She said, I would keep thinking that something was going to happen to him. And so we had a full conversation about not putting out all that kind of negative energy. But then she brought up this idea that her brothers had all been incarcerated. They all had been the route of substance abuse. Her sisters, all their son sons were incarcerated and so on and so forth, right? So that's an example of this wilting, this contracting of the family line by way of the men. Why? Because we love our men, right? They're the ones that carry on our bloodline. They're the ones that are some of the biggest providers and families. They're the ones that help to balance the mother and the father and so on and so forth. Well, if you start to destroy that part of lineage, eventually the lineage can die, right? So again, showing another example of how these things can uh, work them, their way out. So one last thing that I'd like to say, because people are oftentimes asking, how do I break this? How do I break this? Someone told me I had it. Someone I... You can only break your particular chain your particular problem and how that may affect your children. But you breaking it for yourself, it's almost impossible to now break it for the entire family. You being that one person to now do one exercise, maybe on yourself or one ritual that's going to fix the whole family. Other people in your family can do things and then you can generate a lot of energy together. But you by yourself cannot fix the, fa the whole lineage problem. I've never heard of it. If you hear about it and you see proof of it, I want to learn that system. The other thing is, it's very, very important to know and be empowered that by you, if you are a person that is carrying some kind of generational or ancestral problem, as we've discussed, you can break that. You can get help to break that. How do people break this? First through ritual. I don't care what tradition you're in, you got to do some kind of ritual. Taking a spiritual bath is not going to remove this problem. I've never seen that. Why? Because it's in your DNA. It's in your blood. So if you're taking a shower every day, how are you getting inside of your body? Right? How are you getting inside of your aura? It's locked into your aura. So you need to do some kind of ceremony, spiritual work, altar work, definitely with some instructions. <laughs> um, getting involved in traditions such as these because traditional practices are some of the most effective ways or the methods that they provide are some of the most effective in breaking permanently ancestral problems. 
And I would have to say that in your journey of, of kind of putting some of this to rest, pray for your ancestors, pray to heal things that have been broken with them. Um, pray that some of these issues are mitigated. I wanted to say one part that, that I missed earlier in the video is how do some of these curses come about? Because I know some of you guys are asking yourself that question. So I've seen land disputes. Someone has a border, they curse the people on the other side. I've seen that. I've seen people where it is that the mother and the father of that person, they really weren't supposed to be together, according to the family. They didn't want that. They said, oh, you're not gonna have kids with that person. They're not gonna grow up to be anything, whatever the case may be, right? In addition to extramarital affairs, that's a big, 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 one of the biggest ones that I've seen that have also perpetuated or contributed, started, made happen, ancestral curses. And so, things to keep in mind, no family's perfect, but I hope that in hearing some of this information today, you're empowered, you're totally empowered to help break some of this. If not for yourself, and hopefully you don't have that, but definitely to help a friend. Definitely share this video. Please join our whole community of people who are subscribers. Be in tune with our notifications. Check us out on social media. Thanks for watching. Ashe and good luck. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, like us, share us with others, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and come visit us in the store. Check us out on all social media. See you next time.